good morning from the Country 96 Artist Lounge. I'm the professor, Greg Holman, with Eric Chesser. And Eric's almost a hometown boy from Illinois. That's right, yeah, I'm from Plainfield, Illinois. Thanks for having me, Greg. Ah, thanks for coming in. I should call you Professor, right? <laughs> well, no, you can call me Greg. <laughs> That's all right. Um, so I understand, you know, growing up in Illinois, you uh, obviously at, at six foot five, you, you played sports, even yeah. Division One. Yeah, I played uh, basketball growing up, played baseball and football, but basketball was always my main sport. Yeah, I played at the University of South Alabama. Down in Mobile and uh, just different. Played in England for a year and actually graduated from University of St. Francis, just in uh, right uh, Joliet, Illinois, just uh, about 20 minutes from Plainfield. So, okay, yeah. awesome. So was that your was that your go-to career if the music thing didn't work out? Uh, <laughs> it, it was always you know I always loved playing sports and following sports and uh, and you know of course you know playing music at a young age. So um, but yeah, it would have been a night. That was also another dream of mine, but. Hey, this is uh this is my first dream was you know to be a country music singer. Mm -hmm. so. Were you were you playing music all along during college? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes writing you know songs in class even, uh, mm -hmm. but in the background it was a great, great escape to you know go home and pick up the guitar and uh, write a song. So. so for someone from Illinois, um, what's the are you are fairly close to Chicago? Yep, yeah, we're about 45 minutes uh, to an hour southwest suburbs of Chicago, so not too far. Oh, okay, so plenty of venues to play in within an hour. Yeah, there's a lot of, I mean, we have Joe's Live and Bub City. Uh, there's, there's some great venues. We're excited to be playing there in the future. And uh, we have a lot of great county fairs coming up this summer, and we're excited for festival season. And uh, should be a lot of fun, especially promoting our new song, Good Times and Summer Days. I see a lake in the backyard here. Mm -hmm. it's, that's what this song's all about, just having a, a good time with your friends and family and being out in the water. Maybe you could film your next video there, in front hey, of our lake. We're actually in the process of filming our music video. That would be a good spot, actually, for yeah. about the thing. One of the scenes from there, maybe? Maybe, yeah. That would be pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> Think about that. Um, so, how do you make the step from uh, performing in, in the Chicago area to um, being an independent artist with and make, making a radio tour? Oh, well, it, it takes a team and a lot of support from family and friends, of course, around me. You encourage me to continue to pursue this dream. Uh, it's you know, It takes time and patience and a lot of hard work, but... Um, you know, we just have a lot of fun with it, and um, we just have a good time, and um, you know, just make the most of you know all these great experiences, getting to meet a lot of new people, make a lot of great friends on the road, and um, it's just a lot of fun. You know, we make the best of it. And you're fairly familiar with this area. You uh, you have some ties to Columbia, I understand. Yeah, my sister graduated from the zoo. Uh, it was great going to visit her in her graduation. It was a, really a great time for my family. Uh, had a great memory from going to the Missouri Nebraska game. Brad Smith was the quarterback, and they ended up beating Nebraska, and the whole stadium <laughs> stormed down onto the field, right. chased down and uh, tore down the field goal post. I don't think uh, Columbia was too happy with them grinding uh, and sawing off parts of the field goal post in the streets of Columbia, but it was a, it was a great time. Uh -huh. Yeah. So uh, you've got a new single out? Yeah, yeah. It's going pretty well. Yeah, it's going uh, going great so far. We've had a lot of great feedback from radio stations. It's spinning right now in country radio. You know, we can't thank, you got to thank our fans in country radio for all their support. and and uh, their early belief in the song and um, it's a uh, you know called good times and summer days it's the featured song on my upcoming EP that's going to be releasing in June and uh, just a lot of uh, great things to be looking forward to all right Eric Chesser are you gonna play the single or something else um, we all play the single for you yeah That'd okay be great yeah awesome <laughs> Friends by the lake, got the beer and the frisbee. Call up the girls we know, hope they get their friends to go. Have everyone a good out on the boat. Today's gonna be one of those. Out on the lake, blue sky, sunny day. Ourselves a summertime party. Sunny day, ourselves 
acre farm. We had cornfields, soybean fields, and uh, but we had a pond there. My grandpa, my dad, and I, we all loved to go fishing, and that was some of the best times. Uh, and then we also, you know, you know, obviously we had our, our lake house in Plainfields, and we were lucky enough to, you know, have, a, have this man-made quarry behind our house where we get to grow up on and have some great times and, and summer days, and yeah. uh, hanging out with friends on the pontoon boat, and, and get to do some more fishing. <laughs> so that's uh, autobiographical, kind of like a Alan Jackson, Chattahoochee. Yeah, oh, great song, one of my favorite songs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Growing up listening to greats like Alan Jackson, George Strait, Kenny Chesney, Tim McGraw, those guys. You know, those has really uh, you know inspired me to to get into country music. Mm -hmm. The only time I ever bailed hay was when I helped my cousin out one time <laughs> because we were on our way to a concert and she was you know she was having trouble getting it all in in time. So I said, <laughs> okay, I'll pitch in so we can get there in, in St. Louis. So uh, that's why I'm the professor. That's I'm, cool. It wasn't, yeah. wasn't made for farm chores. <laughs> anyway, well, I appreciate you coming in. Did oh. you want to sing one more? Have you, uh, the, the last top 40 single? You, uh, yeah, we have, I uh, Can't Read Your Mind. Yep, I Can't Read Your Mind. That kind of kicked everything off with country radio. Uh, it was unbelievable. It reached in the top 40, and, um, you know, I definitely would love to play that song for you. No problem, yeah. Okay, Eric Chester, one more time. <laughs>
try 